Okay, this one's on sequencing the 80% efficient furnace. An 80% furnace, uh, I can tell by the way it's vented. And this one doesn't really have a vent, it's just got a piece of pipe coming out the top. But it will have metal pipe coming out of the top. And that's pretty uh, indicative of the quote 80% furnace. There, a black thing there is an inducer. Uh, gas valve underneath three burners underneath that and down below there's a cover down here and I'm gonna pull the cover off and we'll look underneath it but the blower and the integrated furnace control are down there. Integrated furnace control or IFC is a controller that times everything and does the flame safety control uh, measures that have to be done with a, with a furnace. So it's essentially the control of the of the entire furnace. Okay, here it is with the cover pulled off. And it's just a circuit board, and of course it's got a bunch of wires coming to it. Okay, now we're going to start the uh, cycle of this furnace. Okay, on a call for heat, the first thing that's going to happen is... The IFC is going to look at the pressure switch, electrically look at the pressure switch and see if it's open or closed. If it's open, then it will turn on the inducer. Okay, now I'm going to give this thing a call for heat. Now you can hear that inducer come on. And what it's going to do is it's going to prove that it's on. Now it's going to prove that it's on through this tube here. This tube, you can see, comes right off of here, comes around over to uh, the pressure switch here, hooks onto the back of the pressure switch. Has to pull a certain amount of vacuum or nothing happens. Won't go any farther. So let's kind of recap that a little bit. Call for heat. The inducer does not come on. The board, now, the board down there has to look at the pressure switch and see if the pressure switch is open or closed. If it's closed, it goes no farther and starts blinking a code on pressure switch problem because it shouldn't be closed before the unit of uh, the inducer comes on. But if it's open, it will go ahead and say, okay, I got an open pressure switch. And go ahead and start the inducer. The inducer will start and then the pressure switch closes. That's gonna allow the unit to get started on its sequence to light off the burners. The next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna look at the limit switch. Okay, this is a limit switch right here. After that inducer starts, it's going to look at the limit switch, see if the limit switch is open or closed. The limit switch is a high temperature safety, so if it's open, it goes no farther, and it uh, goes out on uh, the limit switch code failure. It also turns the fan on. So, if that's closed, and there's several of them, there's one right here, there's one on either side of here, and there's a couple on the blower housing. So, let's say the uh, limit switch says it's okay, then it's going to start the igniter. Now, the igniter is going to be the hot surface igniter, and we'll uh, take a look at that. Okay, now we're ready for the hot surface igniter to come on. Okay, now we're going to uh, have a warm-up period of 17 seconds for the hot surface igniter. Now I heard a click on it so it is starting to warm up now. You can see the glow start to come on there. And it's going to give the burners a chance to light. Now, Right over there, 
on the left side is a flame rod. Now the flame rod is right in here. That doohickey right back there. A little hard to see, but it's in the flame. It sends an electronic signal back to the IFC telling it that the flame is established. Okay, once that flame's established, then it's going to start a timer for the indoor blower. Now here the indoor blower comes. And the indoor blower's on. So this unit has come up to uh, operation over the fact that a blower out of balance. Probably a piece of crap I left in the blower. So this furnace is cycled on normally. Now if I turn the thermostat off, that's what I'm going to do now, and the burner immediately goes off. The inducer is still running. It's still, uh, the inducer is still rotating. It goes for about, I think about 30 seconds after the burner shuts off. And the blower will run anywhere from a minute and a half to two and a half minutes after the burner shut off. And that's a cycling of the 80% induced furnace. This is kind of generic. Uh, 80 percenters are all different to some extent, but they all have to do pretty much the same things uh, overall. So that is the sequencing of the 80% furnace.